The C-295 transport aircraft procured for the Indian Air Force will be manufactured by a Tata Airbus joint venture in Gujarat's Vadodara. The Cabinet Committee on Security had approved the procurement of 56 C-295 transport aircraft for the IAF from Airbus under a deal expected to be worth about $2.5 billion dollars as of September 2021. Of the 56 C-295s ordered, the first 16 will be built by Airbus Defence and Space at its facility in Seville in southern Spain. The remaining 40 aircraft will be built at the new Tata Airbus facility. Over the next few years, India is likely to buy more of these aircraft which also will be built at the same facility. The Tata Airbus facility at Vadodara will also build aircraft for exports, officials have said. This is the first time a military aircraft will be manufactured in India by a private company, the Ministry of Defence had said back then. The long-pending deal for the twin turboprop transport aircraft will bring much needed relief not only to European airspace airspace giant Airbus, which has seen its campaigns for lucrative defence contracts in India fail over the last few years, but also for the IAF and the domestic defence industry. For the IAF, C-295s will come as replacements for its ageing Avro HS-748 transport aircraft. The first of the now vintage aircraft flew with the IAF for the first time in the early 1960s. Around 50 of these license produced in India by the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited are currently in service. The Indian Air Force has a current active fleet of 60 Rolls-Royce Dart engined HS-748s aged between 35 and 58 years. Aviation News website Flight Global said in 2019. The C-295 is a tactical transport aircraft capable of lifting 6 tons. It can carry 5 cargo pallets or 71 troops or 50 paratroopers. The rear ramp door of the aircraft can be used for quick reaction and paradropping of troops and cargo. It has been designed to provide low-level flight characteristics for tactical missions flying at speeds down to 110 knots. The aircraft can land on and take off from short unprepared airstrips which may not be accessible to heavier transport aircraft, a feature which makes it useful for operations from advanced landing grounds along India's China frontier. The C-295 is capable of operating from short, soft and rough, unprepared airstrips, Airbus says. With cabin dimensions of 12.7 meters, it has the longest unobstructed cabin in its class. It can accommodate up to 71 seats, offering a much higher personnel carrying capability than its competitors. For the same reason, It can carry much more palletized cargo with direct offloading through its rear ramp door, it adds. The participation of an Indian company in the deal will come as a major relief for the domestic aerospace industry. Uh, In the case of the C-295 deal, uh, this is first of its kind which envisages participation of private companies and would prove to be a boost for our defence industry, the Ministry of Defence said in its year-end review for 2020. The project will give a major boost to the aerospace ecosystem in India, wherein several MSMEs in the country will be involved in manufacturing of parts of the aircraft, it added in the statement released in September 2021. 96% of the total man-hour work per aircraft that Airbus employs at its manufacturing facility at Spain will be undertaken in India by Tata Consortium, the Ministry of Defence said earlier this week. Over 
13,400 detail parts, 4,600 sub assemblies, and all the seven major component assemblies will be undertaken in India. Moreover, the number of C295s to be produced in India could go up in the future, as the Indian Coast Guard, which plans to use it as a multi-mission maritime aircraft, has projected a requirement of six of them. While the Coast Guard's requirement could go up to a total of 19 in the future, more numbers will be added if the Indian Air Force decides to replace its fleet of AN-32 transport aircraft with C-295s. Dirk Hoek, the Chief Executive Officer of Airbus Defence and Space, recently told aviation news website Flight Global. that the requirement for C, for the C295 in india could eventually grow to at least 150 and beyond replacing the an32s with c295 will make sense because the iaf will already have the aircraft in the fleet induction of the aircraft to replace another type in its aircraft mix will make logistics of spares easier IAF faces daunting logistics challenges due to the staggering diversity in its fleet. The replacement of IAF's AN32s with C295s will also make economic sense as the economics of sale scale will kick in not only for the production of the aircraft in India but also for future upgrades of the aircraft. The C295 aircraft would also be the natural replacement for AN32s which too would be getting phased out soon Air, Va- Air Vice Marshal Mano- Mano- Manmohan Bahadur has been quoted by the Hindustan Times as saying In his 3 day visit to Gujarat and Rajasthan from 30th of October to 1st of November Prime Minister Narendra Modi will lay the foundation stone for the C295 aircraft manufacturing facility at Vadodara The aircraft manufacturing facility would be the first such plant in the private sector in India. This deal is also expected to generate 2500 newly highly skilled jobs in the next 5 years. The sole bid by Tata and Airbus for the project was approved by the Defence Acquisition Council known as the DAC back in 2015. The request for proposal RFP for the planes was issued to global firms even earlier in 2013. Reporting for Swarajya, this is associate editor Sharan Sethi. Do let us know what you thought about this particular video in the comment section below.